So Dave, I would like to have you share a time in your career when globalization went wrong. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. So, so, so as I had mentioned uh, earlier, I spent some time uh, going and rebuilding a couple of supply chains kind of early to middle of my career. And, and I worked with a great manufacturer's rep distributor um, in the mid-Atlantic. And one of the companies that was kind of core on the line card was, was Honeywell Process Solutions. Uh, it, was, it was generally a great company. Um, when I got there, it was right after they had transferred all of the manufacturing uh, from their location in Pennsylvania, right? So they, they were manufacturing all of their stuff in Southern Pennsylvania. It was a short drive uh, from basically any of the offices to go pick the things up if there was really a, a critical customer need. And then they moved all of that down to Mexico. And so as I was getting in, it was the kind of transition from, hey, we can get just about anything we need in, you know, a week or maybe two weeks to, you know, you go send an email and two weeks later it comes back and they're quoting 26 or 52 weeks. And I know we see a lot of that now but this was, I don't know, 10 or so years ago when most people were, were fully willing and expecting to go get a part in, in a week or a couple weeks. And so that completely changed uh, the dynamic, right? It changed the, to the point of having to stock more items on the shelf. And it changed to the point of doing a lot of the, the things that we are doing now. And you would have thought over the co course of the first three or four years that it would have gotten better. And fun facts are, I can tell you it actually in, in no point during the, the first three or four years that I was a part of it, did it ever get better? I, I hope it's better now, 10 years later. Um, it did not get better. Um, and, and as a fun aside, there were a couple of their salespeople who apparently never read the internal emails that they were moving production uh, down to Mexico. And at one point, they showed up to the old facility and called into the office and asked, hey, did we move buildings? Did, did our 2 million square foot manufacturing facility just like up and move a couple of miles away? Because we can't find our offices anymore. Um, and so th th that, of course, caused lots of problems. Uh, I was, in fact, kind of the the number one thing that I remember is is how forgiving the first people were when I told them it was going to take a year to go get this thing that they told me that they needed. Like, I was the one that was nervous that I'm like, no one will ever be okay with, with waiting a year for something. And I mean, I had customers wait a year or more. Sometimes it showed up in two weeks. Sometimes it showed up in 18 months. It was kind of when it showed up, you, you shipped it out and everyone is, is getting what they get. Sounds like communication gone bad. Absolutely. Absolutely. There, there were a number of issues. I, I would say that uh, someone somewhere should have written a case study um, uh, somewhere, so, yes, yeah, someone should have written a case study on it, and uh, it could be an entire thesis on things not to do. Yeah, I, I love the premise of the show because I feel like a lot of times on panels we're sugarcoating and talking about all the good mm -hmm. things. There is a lot of crap that happens mm -hmm. in supply chain and in manufacturing, and I think it's important that we talk about it and that we learn from each other.